G'day gang, Danny here. How's it going, folks? We're back in the World of Warcraft. On the Human Paladin. We're here in Feralis. I am listening. Forces of nature. A lot of work goes into training and caring for our animals, but it's all worth it. I could always use a bit of help, though. A shaft fell out. Fairy dragons. You wouldn't know it from looking at them, but the lovely fairy dragons that inhabit this forest can be truly fearsome if trained properly. They can do amazing things to magical energy, absorb it, redirect it, even nullify it entirely. They're nearly harmless alone, but in large numbers, they can have a stunning effect on battle. You can find some in the fields to the northwest, but be careful, the horde is nearby. May the stars guide you. Mountain giants. The mountain giants are our most powerful allies of the forest. They're carved from the land itself. Not many of our enemies are willing to fight off a walking hillside. It only takes a few of these to turn the tide of a battle completely. The mountain giants here have been afflicted by some illness lately, but I've seen a healthy group of them to the southwest. Good luck, friend. All right, we'll get that one done first. Uh, I'll get these two done first because the next chapter is Forces of Nature. I don't know if that's got anything to do with Forces of Nature, so let's just start these first. See how we go. The Writhing Deep. Bunch of bugs here. Get some mountain giants. Somewhere around here. I'll rally the. Okay, these are the giants. And there's the horde. more you want pal and you sir no yes yes all right that one's done fairy dragons rallied Close a time rift by defeating a fractured causality. I think that was from like the beginning of the expansion or something. The beginning of uh Dragonflight. A long time ago. Alright, now the horde really are nearby. Level 61. encounter a bunch of poachers around here too. Hey, hey, hey. Knock it off. Don't you even dare. Bears about. <laughs> Love when I see that cannon pop out.
It's looking for my dire more quests. So we got speak to the druid of the Talon. That's good our commons. It's got so many quests here. Warpwood Quarter. Capital Gardens. So I probably got to do these two first and then that one at the end. I'd imagine that imagine that would be the the ultimate and end of Dire Mall. Alright, so maybe once we get all the zone quests done I'll do that. Although I'll probably have to fly in there prior to getting the group to go in. Because I'll just want to go, 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 and I'd like to read the first quest, at least. Very much looking forward to War Within and the follow-up dungeons. I'm going to be able to take these dungeons at my own pace, which I think is going to be great. I'm going to be able to read things here, I'm going to be able to soak stuff in, I'll be able to, I'll be able to say, hey, look at that wall, doesn't that look interesting? <laughs> Let's watch the paint dry, stuff like that. All that, all that good stuff. Of course, that doesn't extend to raids. I wonder if they would consider doing that. Follow a raid so you can go through the first time. At your own pace, without being rushed. I don't want to take the MMO out of MMORPGs, but I think when they're putting in sufficient storylines and you know, giving you journals with information about bosses. It's it's kind of nice to have that um, story mode tier, just to go through the first time at least, and get that in. Then you go back in there for your loot, you know? Then you don't have to worry about listening to the NPCs. You just go, 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 go. Fairy dragons? Aren't they adorable? The babies are even cuter. I'll complete the quest. Farewell. Excellent. Artraxius, you've helped bolster our forces here, and you've saved many of these forest creatures from the horde as well. With our army now ready, Feathermoon will stand against all threats, horde or otherwise. On behalf of Lady Feathermoon, I'd like to award you with this weapon, fit for a sentinel. The power of the mountain giant? The power of the fairy dragon? I think I'll go with, I think you're trying to, you know, weigh it up. I think I'm going to go for the Mount Giant. Be careful. Look at that thing. Look at that thing, ready to chop up some wood. Hello. Okay, so that chapter is done. Now you... Speak quickly! Securing this area of the Sentinels. For the Sentinels will be the final part of our defense of Feralis. War on the Woodpaw. Off you go! The first of Chandras's direct orders is to deal with the Woodpaw Knolls here. They've been spreading too far too fast and are becoming a threat to both the forest and our war effort. They know we're here. After we took this camp, we've been leading covert strikes against them. It's time to make a major blow. Bring back ten of their mains, and we'll be ready for the next phase. Move it! Careful out there. It's not ogre yet. We dealt with the Gorduni ogres a large blow at Diamol, but we haven't quite finished the job. My scouts have reported a group of them amassed in the hills of the north, gathering for some reason. It's possible they're interested in the Horde settlement nearby, but I don't want to take any chances. Scout the area, kill any ogres you come across, and report back. On your way! On your way, on your bike. 
Sort these wood poor punks out. Every single one of them drops a main. Four out of ten. Trying to hit me with a trap there. More bones to gnaw on. Have some cannon punk. Maybe just a little overkill for that guy. Fires over here. Seven out of ten. Totems everywhere. Gotta say, like, I felt pretty comfortable in protection, but retributions getting there too. Nice group of abilities there. Fair few ways of getting out of trouble. Divine Shield. Blessing of Protection, Shield of Vengeance, Divine Protection. It's no forbearance from that. All that. This one does. So does that. So Blessing of Protection. Immunity to physical damage. And there's immunity to like everything. So, got my blessing as a freedom, so I can get out of snares and so on. Don't waste my time. Move it. The mains aren't just for trophies. If there's to be slaughter, we may as well not let it be a total waste. Careful out there. Excellent work, Artraxius. I didn't think those knolls would give you so much trouble. On your way. Alpha Strike. Never underestimate a threat. These knolls may seem like simple brutes. But there's animal cunning even among them. The gnolls run as a pack, and every pack has alphas. The biggest, strongest, and most ruthless members that claw their way to dominance. They're the ones giving orders, so they're the ones we're going to slay now. They reside mostly around the wood poor den, pushing the others around. Get out there and push harder. Off you go. Can do. I wonder if we're going to have anything to do with the writhing deep there. Or if that's horde business. Would poor Alpha slain.
bend up above, down below. Am I asking for trouble here? trouble well as I gallop through the skies folks if you'd like to do me a favor and hit the like button and drop a comment down below if you'd like to do that most appreciated uh, I have actually started a reddit Fazroth Dan it's mostly just me up placing the links for the videos but feel free to join that too if you'd like if you're already on reddit What? Adela. Careful out there. Perfect. Any knoll was left will be simple prey, lost in the woods. Heh. <laughs> Here, soldier. Take your reward before I get distracted. We've got other threats to deal with. On your way. Uh, okay, so now it looks like we actually Perfect. are going to go into there. Should I deal with the ogres first? Let's see how any of this is going to relate to the dragon's nightmare. Quickly, quickly! Ah, oh, let's do it, why Off not? Off you go! Zukash infestation. With the gnolls out of the way, we're ready to take care of other foes. Our scouts have discovered that a, what appears to be a hive nearby, extending deep beneath the ground. The insects of the hive are large and ferocious and most likely pose an even greater threat than the gnolls. I want you to proceed to the hive with caution. Cut down a good portion of the bugs and bring back their carapaces for further study. On your way! Sting lasher. Off you go. Most of the insects we've seen wandering the hive have been enormous enough, but my scouts reported an especially huge one. It's supposedly a massive wasp, and it seemed to be directing the workers on the surface. I don't know much about these things, but if they're starting to wander beyond the pit in the ground, we need to put a stop to it. Kill this giant wasp and return to me. Move it! Can do. Oh, there, here we are. Yeah, well, let's go, let's go straight for the big one. If it's down here, we're gonna have to play fight a whole bunch of them anyway. Hirot. Special one. me over here but I think it's just I think it's he's just pointing me to the nest really could be anywhere around here Clear this place out. Oh. 
We are near Silithus. And the place is full of these things. It would be so awesome if it actually did connect to Silithus. Like it'd be a ridiculously long way, perhaps. But it eventually do come to Silithus. And like the entire network is all connected. The one in uh, in the desert, Tanaris. And wherever else in the world. Looking for a stinger slasher. Maybe on the other side. I oh know that's the way we came in. We follow that all the way. Oh, let's go all the way to the end. Maybe there's that there's that big room there. Took care of all those ones. This guy up here. See an arrow. Nope, still putting out there. If I don't find it in here, I just have to do a targeting. go. Well, we've been through all this, so he's not in here. Unless we just happen to miss him and he's on a patrol. Oh, that looks like him. That looks like There he is. Get them, get them all together. Done and done. Four stacks of silithid toxin on us. Doesn't seem to be affecting us too greatly. Now it's not affecting us it. at all. Careful out there. How goes the hunt, Artraxius? Are you here to report your success? Move it! These are Silithid, after all. I wasn't sure, having never seen one in Persis. person. Gilnea's had its problems, but at least we didn't have these monstrosities running around. On your way! Off you go! Well done, Artraxius. You're proving very valuable to secure in this area for the Alliance. Careful out there. Right, secretion coated carapace. What brings you here? Well, I guess it's our themed shield. Although I kind of like the idea of the modified spell shield. there for now. 